ഓക്കായ സൂര്യകോടിഘ്നം കുറു മേ ദേവസ്സർവകാര്യേഷു സർവദ സരസ്വതിർമസ്തുഭ്യം വരദേ കാമരൂപിണീ വിദ്യാരംഭം കരിഷ്യാമി സിദ്ധേർഭവത്തി മേ സദാ ഗുരവേ സർവലോകാനാംഭവരൂപിണാം വിദേ സർവിദ്യാദക്ഷിണാമൂർത്തയേ നമ ഈശ്വരോ ഗുരുരാത്മേതി മൂർത്തി ഭേദവിഭാഗിനേ വ്യോമവത്യാപ്തദേഹായ ദക്ഷിണാമൂർത്തയേ നമ സദാശിവസമാരംഭാം ശങ്കരാചാര്യമധ്യമാം അസ്മദാചാര്യപര്യന്താം വന്ദേ ഗുരുപരമ്പരാം ഗുരുർബ്രഹ്മ ഗുരുർവിഷ്ണു ഗുരുർദേവോ മഹേശ്വര ഗുരു സാക്ഷാൽ പരം ബ്രഹ്മ തസ്മൈ ശ്രീ ഗുരവേ നമ സഹനാവതു കഥനോ ഭുനക്തോ സഹവീര്യങ്കരഭാവഹൈ തേജസ്വിനാവധി തമസ്തു മാതൃദ്വിഷാവഹൈ ഓം ശാന്തി 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 You can repeat that for me. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Vasudevendra Yogendram Vasudevendra Yogendram നദ്വാജ്ഞാനപ്രദം ഗുരു നദ്വാജ്ഞാനപ്രദം ഗുരു ശൂണാം ഹിതാർഥായ മുമുക്ഷൂണാം ഹിതാർഥായ തത്വബോധോ വിധീയത്തെ തത്വബോധോ വിധീയത്തെ സാധന ചതുഷ്ടയ സമ്പന്നാധികാരിണ സാധന ചതുഷ്ടയ സമ്പന്നാധികാരിണാ മോക്ഷ സാധന ഭൂതം മോക്ഷ സാധന ഭൂതം തത്വ വിവേക പ്രകാരം തത്വ വിവേക പ്രകാരം സാധന ചതുഷ്ടയം കിം സാധന ചതുഷ്ടയം കിം നിത്യാനിത്യവസ്തു വിവേക നിത്യാനിത്യവസ്തു വിവേക ഇഹ മുദ്രാർത്ഥ ഫലഭോഗ വിരാഗ ഇഹ മുദ്രാർത്ഥ ഫലഭോഗ വിരാഗ സോറി ഇഹ മുദ്രാർത്ഥ ഇഹ മുദ്രാർത്ഥ ഇഹ മുദ്രാർത്ഥ ിത്യവസ്തു വിവേക നിത്യാനിത്യവസ്തു വിവേക നിത്യവസ്തു തദ്വ്യതിരിക്തം സർവം അനിത്യം തദ്വ്യതിരിക്തം സർവം അനിത്യം അനിത്യം അയം ഏവ നിത്യാനിത്യവസ്തു വിവേക ഷമാദിഷ്കസമ്പത്തി ശമാദമഹാശ്രദ്ധാ സമാധാനം ചെയ്തി 
ಸ್ವಧರ್ಮಾನುಷ್ಠಾನಿಕ್ಷಾ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣಸುಖಾಕ್ಯೇಷು ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಗುರುವೇದಾಂತವಾಕ್ಯಾಶು ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಸಮಾಧಾನಂಕ್ಷತುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್ಟುಷ್
the student wants to know atma and at the same time he also wants to know that if he is not this body mind sense complex what are they that is what is anatma the student has mixed up both atma and anatma therefore there is a confusion in the mind of the student and this confusion everyone of us has it therefore by asking what is atma the student also expresses his doubt regarding anatma if the student is atma which the student doesn't know and if he knows that his body mind sense complex is not atma then what are they therefore the question of atma brings up the question of anatma also so there are two questions in the in one question atma kaha anatma kaha you understand atma kaha anatma kaha so there are therefore there are two questions in a single question yeah, yeah an intelligent teacher he understands the students question and understand the students doubt therefore the teacher has a responsibility to to answer for these two questions atma kaha and anatma kaha because a student in the in the mind of the student there is a confusion that he has mixed up both atma and anatma it is what samsara is so therefore the teacher now has a responsibility to answer the two questions atma kaha also he has to say and anatma kaha also he has to answer if the teacher had not understood the question of the student and if he wants to answer only for the question atma kaha then the reply should have been the last one sachidananda roopaha sachidananda roopaha atma that would be the answer that would be a short definition of atma atma kaha sachidananda roopaha atma but here we see a long definition stool sukshma karana sharira vitritta पंचकोशातीत सन् अस्तात्र साक्षी सचिदानंद सन् जगतिषति सह आत्मा इनफैक्ट दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ आत्मा एज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अनात्मा आल्सो अनात्मा कह आल्सो इट इज देयर फॉर आत्मा कह द डेफिनेशन इज स्थूल सूक्ष्म कारण शरीरात् विकृतः पंचकोशातीत सन् अवस्थात्र साक्षी सचिदानंद सन् जगतिषति सह आत्मा दैट इज द आंसर दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ आत्मा and for anatma kaha the definition would be the sharira trayam pancha koshaha avastha trayam these three these three owes its existence to atma and these three are anatma that is atmanam vina ye na tishtanti ते सर्वे अनात्मा विदाउट आत्मा दैट विच डज इट्स एक्सिस्टेंस दट इज अनात्मा द शरीर पंचकोशा अवस्था दे डोंट हेव इंडिपेडेंट एक्सिस्टेंस इंडिपेडेंट ऑफ आत्मा दे डोंट एक्सिस्ट सो दैट फोर आत्मा विना ये नीति तस्मा ते सर्वे अनात्मा anatma is jadam atma is chaitanya so when we say anatma is jadam atma is chaitanya it doesn't mean there are two things that that it doesn't mean there are two things atma is there anatma is there no it is not like that anatma being nitya what is there is only atma you remember the examples of uh, uh, the wood and the table gold and the ornaments jeevaha that is an individual jeevaha is that one who mistakes anatma for atma and atma for anatma therefore the jeeva is in bondage bandaha if the jeeva understand that jeevatvam that status of being a jeeva is mithya then the jeeva will become a gnani so now you understand the difference between the jeeva and atma we cannot say atma is atma jeeva is atma plus anatma that we cannot say because anatma 
is not counted. Anadha being nitya, it is not counted. It doesn't have any weightage. There is no wood plus table. There is no gold plus bangle. There is only wood. There is only gold. Table and ornaments, they are just the forms. The same way, here also, there is no Atma plus Anatma. There is only Atma. This is important to understand. Here, the author divides Anatma into several parts or several layers for, the, for our convenience of understanding. In Vedanta, I told you in the last class, we have many methods of analysis, inquiry. And these, this method, method, this method, the methods of analysis, inquiry are called prakriya. It's called prakriya. Sharira Traya prakriya is one prakriya. It is an important uh, prakriya, important method of inquiry. By this prakriya, we establish that Atma is distinct from all the three Sharirams. Sharira Trayam is dividing the Anatma into threefold division, threefold division of the body. Sharira Trayam. Kosha Panchaka Prakriya or Pancha Kosha Prakriya. It is another Prakriya. In that Prakriya, we divide the human personality into five-fold layers. Five-fold layers or five, five levels. Avastha Tre Prakriya is another Prakriya, another method of analysis in which we divide the states of experience of the Jiva into three. The author enumerates all the, uh, all, all this Sharira Trayam, Kosha Panchakam, Avastha Trayam. Sharira Trayam means Stura, Sukshma, Karna, three are there, Sharira Trayam. Pancha Kosha means Pancha, five, five is there. Avastha Trayam, Trayam, three is there. So, three plus five plus three. There are eleven components are there. So, the author enumerates all the eleven components and later he will point out that Atma is different from all these eleven components. The Sharira Trayam is 3, Pancha Kosha, Pancha Kosha, Pancha, Kosha Panchakam is 5, Avastha Trayam is 3, therefore how many are there? 3 plus 5 plus 3, 11, 11 components are there. So the author will say, we are uh, going to establish now, Atma is different from all these 11 components. By Sharira Traya Prakriya, the author will establish that all the three bodies, that is Stula, stula Shariram, Sukshma Shariram, Karna Shariram, all the three bodies, they borrow their existence from Atma, whereas Atma is independent of all the three Sharirams. This is what is defined in the definition as Stula, Sukshma, Karna Sharirat, Vetiriktaha. The word Vetiriktaha is very important. It, the Vetiriktaha means different, different or distinct different or distinct. Here the difference is not like the difference between a flower and a pot. It is not like the difference between two different things. This must be understood. The difference is only in terms of names and forms, only in terms of Nama and Rupa. It is like a pot is different from a plate. A plate is different from a bowl. Whether it is pot or plate or bowl, they are all made of clay. Only the Nama and Rupa are different. A pot is different from a plate. And only Nama Rupa. Both are made of clay. A plate is different from a bowl. Plate and bowl, they have different names and forms. Only those are different. But the substance is clay only. They are different. In what? They, are, they have different utilities. But essentially all are made of clay. That is what yeah, the difference is. Vetirtaha means that is the difference. So here also the Vetirtaha should be understood in that way. In the same way. 
If you say Jiva is the sum total of Stula Shariram, Karana Shariram, Sukhma Shariram, Karana Shariram and Atma, that is Jiva equal, is equals to Stula Shariram plus Sukhma Shariram plus Karana Shariram plus Atma, then all the three bodies being Mitya, the Sharira Trayam being Mitya, Jiva is nothing but Atma. It is just like saying a pot is equal to form plus clay. A pot is equal to form plus clay. Form doesn't count. Form doesn't have any weight. Therefore, a pot is nothing but clay. The same way, these three bodies, the Sharira Trayam doesn't count. So, therefore, the essential Urupa, the nature of Shiva is Atma. This is with reference to the three Shariram. All these things will be established later. Now, next, the author uh, talks about the, the five layers of the human personality. Pancha Kosha, Pancha Kosha Atitaha San. Here, the author he enumerates the five Koshas, Pancha Kosha. For our Understanding, we will enumerate the five koshas. Here, the author doesn't enumerate the five uh, kosha, he just mentions pancha kosha, ha, pancha kosha atita, ha, ti, but we will uh, list out those five kosha, pancha kosha. What are they? Andamaya kosha, ha, number one, pranamaya kosha, ha, number two, manomaya kosha, ha, number three, vijnanamaya kosha, ha, which is number four and Ananda Maya Koshaha number 5. So, these are the Pancha Koshaha which the author has not enumerated here. He will mention later but we are enumerating now for our discussion. All these Kosha, all these 5 Kosha put together is called Kosha Panchakam or Pancha Koshaha both are same Kosha Panchakam or Pancha Koshaha. These layers of the human personality, they also belong to Anatma category only. And Atma is Atitaha, Pancha Kosha, Atitaha. Atitaha means different, different from or transcending these five layers. Atitaha also means the same as Vyatritaha only. From the viewpoint of five Koshas, the sharira, the body is divided into five levels of experience, five layers of experience. The same three bodies, sharira triyam, from the kosha point of view, it is divided into five levels of experience. It is very interesting to note here the etymology of the word kosha. Remember I told that we don't translate kosha as sheet. Sheet. There is a defect in that translation, which we will see later. But we can understand why it is uh, translated as sheet. It is because of its etymology. Koshavat, Koshavat, Achad Kattuat, Koshaha. Koshavat, like a Kosha, Achad Kattuat, like a Kosha which covers, therefore it is called Kosha. Kosha means covering. Yeah, cover or is the scabbard. It's called kosha. The scabbard is that which uh, covers the sword. A sword is put inside a scabbard. That is a cover. That is called kosha. A sword is kept inside a scabbard. And this scabbard covers this sword. Therefore, anything which covers another thing is called kosha. Even the clothes, the dress, what we wear is kind of kosha only because it covers our body. Similarly, the makeup or the decorations, that is also a kosha, it's a cover. So, when you keep a sword inside the kosha, the sword is covered. Okay. Now, can you keep the atma inside the five koshas and cover the atma? 
it is like a pot a clay pot covering the clay it is like a clay pot covering the clay to say that atma is is covered by the five kosha is like saying a clay pot covering the clay can a pot cover the clay a clay pot is made of clay a pot is nothing but a form given to clay if that is so can a pot cover the clay can a table cover the wood can a chain cover the gold In the same way how can atma be covered by this five koshas that is why kosha is not a covered like covering its kosha is not a covered like covering the five coverings koshas are also mithya they don't count what is counted is only atma so now do you understand why we don't translate it as a cover or a sheet because it uh, leads us to the thinking that atma is covered by anatma and therefore we have to do uh, a lot of sadhana to uncover atma there is really speaking no removal of cover of atma to find out the atma there is only discovery of atma which is present in all the experiences and in fact in the presence of atma only all the experiences are possible therefore by translating kosha as a cover or a sheet we are giving a reality to anatma we are giving a reality reality to anatma and therefore we should be careful when translating the sanskrit words that is why we don't translate the kosha as a covering or a sheet we will keep the, the word kosha as kosha only as long as we understand it properly kosha is fine so we will retain the word kosha okay here the stool shariram sukshma shariram and the karana shariram the three shariram sharira trayam by kosha panchaka prakriya they are divided into five koshas the six the three bodies are divided into five kosha by this kosha panchaka prakriya by this method of analysis every individual has this five levels five layers of experience and at each level there is a a mistake which is uniformly committed by the individual like uh, we commit uh, in the three bodies sharira trayam atma being satyam it is not covered by anything atma cannot be covered by anything if atma is limitless if it is infinite how can you cover it atma the consciousness cannot be covered but we mistake the i i for the physical body because we commit the mistake of physical body for the atma then the body becomes as though a cover you understand because we commit the mistake of identifying atma with the physical body therefore the body becomes as though a cover a kosha it is a mistake to think that atma is somewhere underneath the cover which is atma is underneath which is covered by these five layers of kosha and we have to remove one by one to see the atma as though atma like uh, like us it has a, a overcoat a jacket and a shirt and inside the, the shirt there's a t-shirt when you uh, remove everything finally you come to the person it is not so it is not like that all the five layers of this experience are as though cover as though kosha physical body is called annamaya kosha physical body is called annamaya kosha annamaya kosha means anna means we know anna is food food anna is food so physical body is not food physical body is a modification of anna modification of food it is modi food modified if annamaya kosha is just food then what will happen 
then whatever you ate in the morning for breakfast all the idli vada will be hanging you can see that in our, all over your body if anna if uh, annamaya posha is just food it is not it is food modified the food is converted into blood and bones and skin and it covers skin body that's why it is modification of food anna vikarha annamaya posha is anna vikarha you you see the suffix maya maya suffix is there in annamaya annamaya the maya suffix is there pranamaya manomaya vijnanamaya anandamaya in all the pancha kosha in the so in all the names of the pancha kosha you find the, the maya maya the, the suffix is there in sanskrit we have a pratyaya suffix called mayat mayat pratyaya that we will see in in our class sanskrit class later but i tell you there is uh, that about this pratyaya mayat pratyaya this mayat pratyaya it is used in the sense of vikara or prachurya that mayat pratyaya is used in the sense of vikara or prachurya vikararte mayat that is one number one second uh, thing is prachuryarte mayat in these two senses it can be this suffix can be used vikara is modification vikara means modification prachurya means prachurya means abundance plenty prachurya means abundance or plenty here the suffix mayat with the with the words anna prana vigyana ananda it is used in the sense of vikara vikararte mayat in the names of the panchakosha the mayat pratyaya is used in the sense of vikara vikararte mayat i will explain that suppose if you go to the, the ganga sagar you know ganga sagar you will find the ganga river ganga merging with the sea from one end of the shore you cannot see the other end of the ganga the ganga is so wide it looks like like an ocean at the merging point where the ganga merges with the sea you cannot see the other shore of the ganga it is so wide so at ganga sagar we can say it is jalamayam it is jala mayam jala mayam it means what abundance of water plenty of water jala mayam is only jala but when you say annamaya it is not that in physical body there is abund physical body is abundant in food understand it's not it is not prachurya it cannot be prachurya therefore it is vikararte modification of food is annamaya the food what we consume is modified in the form of a physical body therefore it is vikararte mayat here the the, um, the pratyaya mayat is used in sense of vikara vikararte mayat modification this physical body annamaya it is a kosha and it is mistaken for myself the atma and because of that i miss the atma this annamaya the physical body it offers itself as a locus of locus for committing the mistake of taking anatma for atma i take myself to the body and i say i am a brahmana i am i am fair i am tall i am fat i am walking i am teaching i am listening and so on it clearly reveals the mistake of taking anatma for atma this annamaya kosha is stula shariram this annamaya kosha is stula shariram then the sukshma shariram is divided into three koshas sukshma shariram is divided into three koshas that is pranamaya kosha manomaya kosha and vijnanamaya kosha the same three bodies are divided into five koshas stula shariram is annamaya kosha now sukshma shariram is divided into the three ko three kosha pranamaya kosha 
மனோமய கோஷா அண்ட் விஜானமய கோஷா அட் எவ்ரி லெவல் ஆஃப் கோஷா வி கமிட் அட் மிஸ்டேக் ஆஃப் டேக்கிங் அனாத்மா ஃபார் ஆத்மா அண்ட் இட் இஸ் அ வெரி காஸ்ட்லி மிஸ்டேக் தட் இஸ் வை சம்சாரம் வி ஆர் இன் சம்சாரம் வி வில் டேக் அப் பிராணமய கோஷா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தோ எவ்ரி திங் ஆல் த கோஷா வில் பி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் டீடைல் லேட்டர் Yes, we will have a, a, a brief introduction to what are they. Now, uh, when you say, I am hungry, I am thirsty, I am healthy, I am not healthy. So, these, all these conclusions, it is all based, on, based at the level of prana. Prana is responsible for the entire physiological activities. Prana. or all the physiological activities like uh, breathing digesting you know assimilating they are all attributed to prana in the in the body in the sthula sharira what happens in the sleep is in the sleep all the activities of prana it continues it goes on prana never stops it doesn't stop prana does stop means we know what will happen even in the in sleep all the activities of prana continues that is why in spite of sleep or uh, work the breathing activity the digesting activity all the activities it, it goes on it continues now when one takes a prana for the atma then it it becomes a kosha it becomes a kosha pranamaya kosha is taking prana for atma atma doesn't have hunger or thirst but it is mistaken for one which is subject to hunger and thirst sickness and the death of the body is taken to be this sickness and death of the atma therefore so pranamaya kosha becomes a kosha pranamaya kosha is also prana vikara it is prana vikara then manomaya kosha மனோமய கோஷா இஸ் மனோவிகாரத்வாத் மனோமய கோஷா மனோவிகாரத்வாத் மனோமய கோஷா தட் இஸ் விச் இஸ் தி மாடிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் தி மைண்ட் மனஸ் வி நோ அவர் மைண்ட் இஸ் நாட் ஆல்வேஸ் அ சேம் இட் கோஸ் ஆன் சேஞ்சிங் இட்ஸ் ஸ்வரூபம் இஸ் சஞ்சலம் இட்ஸ் நேச்சர் இஸ் டு சேஞ்ச் ஆல்வேஸ் கோஷவத் ஆச்சாதகத்வாத் கோஷா இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஏ கோஷா பிகாஸ் எனி கண்டிஷன் இன் யுவர் மைண்ட் இட் பிகம்ஸ் யுவர் கண்டிஷன் யூ டேக் தி யூ டேக் தி கண்டிஷன் ஆஃப் மைண்ட் டு பி யுவர் கண்டிஷன் அண்ட் தேர் ஃபோர் யூ சே இஃப் த மைண்ட் இஸ் ரெஸ்ட்லெஸ் யூ சே ஐ எம் ரெஸ்ட்லெஸ் ஐ எம் இஃப் த மைண்ட் இஸ் ஆங்கிரி ஐ எம் ஆங்கிரி வி சே இட் இஸ் ஐ சேட்னஸ் இன் த மைண்ட் வி சே ஐ எம் சேட் so whatever is the condition of mind it becomes my condition and this this i i is there in every thought i is there in every thought of the mind and that this i is not known so so what happens is now there is there is a confusion between the the mind and the atma there is a confusion between the mind and the atma therefore it becomes a kosha kosha vatte aachadagatva as though like a kosha it covers the atma therefore it is a manomaya kosha then comes vijnanamaya kosha then comes the the vijnanamaya kosha vijnanamaya kosha is this kartritvam that kartritvam i am the doer that kartritvam is vijnanamaya kosha the the doer the karta undergoes a lot of changes undergoes a changes according to the the actions according to the changes in the actions he does i walk i eat i sleep i speak i teach i read i run so all this the karta but there are the actions are different but i is 
it is the, the action is attributed to the i the atma so the kartrutvam is vigyanamaya kosha the vigyana is agam karta iti vritti that vritti the thought i am the doer that thought is vigyana vigyana vikaratvat vigyanamaya kosha koshavat aachadatatva ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಕೋಶ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಕಾರತ್ವಾತ್ ಕೋಶವತ್ ಆಚ್ಛಾದಕತ್ವಾತ್ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಕೋಶ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕರ್ತ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಡೂವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರ್ತ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನೆಟ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಿ ಕರ್ತ ವೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಮೂವ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೂವ್ because atma being everywhere how can it move from one place to another place there is no displacement for atma so atma is not karta atma is purely sakshi that is in the form of awareness atma is present in all the actions it is present it doesn't perform any action it is only a sakshi rupena vartate in fact in the presence of atma only all the activities take place but what happens atma is taken to be the karta atma is taken to be the the doer that is a mistake that is in fact that is the original mistake once the atma is taken as karta then the atma is subject to karma phalam karta is the karta does karma so karma will will invite karma phalam so once karta is the karma phalam is comes when karma phalam comes then what happens then i become a bhokta you see how karta leads to bhokta so as a bhokta atma enjoys various forms of sukham that is the bhoktrutva here the various forms of sukham what you experience what the what you experience there are also modifications the various forms of sukham that is also modification only so now the kartrutvam agam karta that that vigyana that is the koshavat aachadakatva as though like a cover as though like a kosha it covers the atma and that is the vigyana maya kosha now because atma is taken to be a karta now atma has to become a bhokta it has to enjoy because karma phalam is there therefore it has to enjoy the karma phalam and now the the various forms of sukha what the karta experiences that is also there are also modifications only suppose if you if you get a news that um uh, that the person who you want to meet is coming suppose your son is coming from a um, foreign country the news of your son coming from a foreign country itself it makes you be happy give you give you some sukham that modification of sukham that modification is called priya that modification is called priya now the 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 date of arrival of your son has come now you go to the airport to receive him so when you see him in the uh, at the airport from a distance that makes you more happy and that happiness is is called modaha it is modaha now when the when the when you are the when the person when the sun comes and stays with you then it then what happens then you then then, then you feel that as though that the the desired object has become one with you and that sukham is pramodaha so there are various degrees of happiness moda priya moda pramodaha atma being a karta therefore it is a bhokta as a bhokta it enjoys various forms of sukham and the sukham is also of these various degrees priya moda pramodaha iti all the various degrees of happiness are 
modifications of this experiential sukham ananda only but here the ananda ananda is not complete it's not complete ananda any experiential ananda is not a complete ananda because there is always a sense of lack in this ananda it is it is uh, common that we we hear some people saying that i am happy with my job but uh, but uh, they drag i am very happy with my house but uh, there is always a drag is there therefore this this ananda is always inhibited ananda this ananda is not complete it is not purna and there are inhibiting factors and that nitya inhibiting factors which condition the ananda as though that is your own nature one's own nature this experiential ananda which is of varying various degrees is mistaken to be the swarupa atma koshavat aachadatatva anandamaya kosha that is the fifth kosha because of this inhibiting factors ananda is not complete because once you are sukham dukkham is also is there that is we are always tossed up between sukham and dukkham sometimes many times you are dukhi and sometimes you are sukhi so sukham dukkham comes and goes and that, therefore uh, there are that factors inhibiting that sukham that ananda is there but we experience ananda also and the ananda of various degrees which is nothing but a modification vikara therefore that uh, this is what is called anandamaya koshaka that is that ananda is taken that the ananda is taken to be the the bhokta that is atma ananda vikaratva koshavat aachadakatva koshaka anandamaya koshaka atma is mistaken to be the bhokta so when you go through the experience of dukkham this is important when you go through the experience of dukkham that is a part of manomaya that is modification of the mind in the experience of dukkham there are divisions there is a division me and the world the subject of object division comes whereas in ananda which is the swarupam of atma you become closer to atma as though you as though you as though you become closer to atma really speaking you are not away from atma since atma being you and the swarupam of atma is ananda but the ananda of this various degrees what we experience that is not the that is that is that ananda it takes us closer to atma as though therefore it is like a kosha in that moment of happiness there is an identification or oneness with myself i become one in the experience of ananda i become one with the object of ananda there are no divisions between me and the world that is a subject of object division disappears at that moment so that is the anandamaya kosha that is also a kosha okay now this atma is different from all the five koshas pancha kosha pancha kosha atitah vitiritah is different from the five koshas as it is different from the three shariras the same three shariram is looked upon as five kosha there are stola sharira anamaya kosha sukshma sharira the three koshas are the pranamaya manamaya vijnanamaya and the last one is karana sharira and that is connected to that is that is the anandamaya kosha if you experience dukkham the dukkham that becomes a part of the manomaya kosha if you experience sukham there is no absolute sukham that is why i said it there is no purna ananda whatever ananda you experience of various degrees it is all attributed to anandamaya kosha and that the atma is considered to be the bhokta of ananda therefore kosha vat aachadakatva and that is anandamaya kosha okay the koshas are nothing but they are all matter only they are all bundles of matter 
the five koshas will be discussed in detail later the author himself will take up each kosha and he is going to define what each koshas are there now i have just given you a, a, a brief uh, introduction of what it is then then the author uh, refers to avastatraya sakshi avastatraya sakshi sakshi means witness sakshi means witness or the observer who uh, uh, observes that or is different from the avastha trayam the three states of experience here again the author it doesn't enumerate the three states which he will do later so we need to understand that the three states is is referring to jagrat avastha that is one state jagrat avastha that is the waking stage of experience jagrat avastha second one swapna avastha the dream state of experience and the third one is susupti avastha that is deep sleep state of experience or dreamless sleep susupti avastha is dreamless sleep or deep sleep state these are the three states of experience called avastha trayam all the three states of experience are experienced by the different shariram's anatma atma is there atma is avastha tre sakshi atma he is a witness or the observer of the three states of experience and therefore he is different from all these three so all our experiences can be covered under the three states waking experiences dream experiences and sleep experiences all the three states are common to all, all the people and atma is sakshi atma is a witness of all the three states of experience experiences when you say you are a sakshi witness of something it means you cl- very clearly know that the witness must be different vyatritah vyatritah from what is witnessed from what is observed if i am the witness of all of you i am certainly different from all of you witness that for the, the sakshi indicates that sakshi is not involved when i the atma is there then the seeing hearing thinking everything takes place in the waking state seer hearer thinker they are all there when i the atma the consciousness is there they are all there so to there is no dream experience without atma there is no sleep experience without atma atma is invariably present in all the three avastha if i am the waker as well as the dreamer and the sleeper if i the atma is a waker is a dreamer as well as a sleeper because i present in all the three states of experience and i should be have to be different from all the three if waker is na- the nature of atma that atma i can never become a dreamer or a sleeper since i am the all the three i should be different from all the three from vitriktaha all the three should be mithya and i am the satyam i can be without any experiences without being a waker without being a dreamer without being a sleeper without being any uh, that er er is waker dreamer sleeper that er that is that is a er it is exactly like uh, the i told no the last the actor who is free from the roles he plays is an actor an actor a he plays the role of a beggar b in a drama and a the actor a is so identified with the role beggar role b people who watched him took him to be a real beggar but the same actor a when he comes back to the green room is not a beggar b so during the play the act the beggar b was actor a b was a but the actor a can never be b even when playing the role of a beggar b a was there a the actor was there a is present now and a will be later also therefore b the beggar is actor actor is not the beggar b is a a is not the b that is even in performing the role of a beggar the actor was there therefore a 
the atma is the sakshi is a witness is present in all the three states of experience and is different is dikrittaha from all the three that is the tatparya so by the varavastha treya sakshi the author he wants to convey the idea that atma the consciousness is different from all the three states of experiences these ex- these states of experiences belong only to the body this states of experiences are the properties of the body not of the consciousness atma atma the consciousness is different from all the bodies as well as the properties of the body in fact the properties belong to the each state of experiences so it cannot be belong to atma so sharirebhyah sharira dharmebhyah vyatrittah atma so having said all this the author has still has to answer the students question important question atma kah so far he has stated what is not atma what is anatma he has answered but he has not explained what is the nature of atma that the author answers he refers to atma as sachidananda roopah atma sachidananda roopah san san means being b e i n g being san being sachidananda roopah sachidananda swarupah swarupah means one's own nature one's Uh, intrinsic one's inherent nature and this inherent nature the swarupa is tat chit and anandah sat chit and anandah yah tishtati sah atma abai yah tishtati abides in whom or in whom they in her sah atma that is called atma so the atma is different from all the 11 components of all the 11 components which we saw now which are all anatma only and atma is the nature of sachidananda now even though the uh, the the author has answered the students question but the sachidananda swarupah it has been explained it is a the positive definition of the atma that also author will take up later and he will explain what is sat what is chit what is ananda now if atma is distinct from sharira trayam panchakosham arvastha trayam then what is that consciousness what is it, uh, its uh, nature what is its swarupam yes what is it uh, in reality itself atma is of the nature of sat chit and ananda what is sat what is chit what is ananda that uh, every word uh, author will take up and discuss these three mi- words are minimum words are required to understand the nature of atma sat means pure existence sat sat is existence chit is consciousness sat existence chit consciousness anandah anandah is happiness or fullness or completeness ananda is not of the ananda of the various uh, varying degrees what is our now yeah the ananda is avam purnah iti that that is that purnatvam is ananda that completeness that fullness is ananda so sat is existence chit is consciousness ananda is fullness or the completeness now what is sat what is chit i have given you only the the meaning of the word but we will take up the each word and explore in detail when that uh, discussion comes later so with this uh, we will stop today we will continue our discussion the uh, uh, next step class om purnamada purnamidam purnaat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shante 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 hari hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hari om Yeah, we need to ask. In the-